hi and a very warm welcome to get another tutorial of easy video series this is the week 3 and we are covering latex in depth so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to insert images in latex okay so we begin with our standard example document class article that is the base class and begin document followed by end document so anything between this gets compiled I am using text studio as my latex editor you are free to use of your choice but I recommend text studio for following the videos easily now in order to insert image there is a figure environment in latex so just like you do begin tiny and tiny begin itemize and itemize you have a begin figure and a end figure environment latex supports a variety of image formats like pdf jpeg png etc so mostly we insert JPEG, PDF or PNG or it is also incorporates support for EPS which is a vector format. So the command is begin figure followed by end figure and then you have a command include graphics. Okay, so include graphics is basically it tells LaTeX what is the file name of the image that needs to be inserted. So in my case it is black.png. So I have saved this file. See, my file name is week 3 latex tutorial inserting image in latex. Okay, so it is in this folder. See, this is my file. Okay, so this is the folder. And in the same folder, there should be an image black.png. So I have the image black.png here. So it is mandatory that the file should exist in the same folder as your image. You can, of course, create a subfolder and also insert the image that I will also show you okay so you come here you have include graphics you saw black.png and then you have a caption for the figure caption means the label of the figure i will just explain you let me compile it so here is the compiled output so see this is the image and you can see figure one is automatically inserted because the moment we insert slash caption black image we get the caption as black image Caption can be anything as per your choice. Now two things to remember. If you can see this image automatically comes on the. So if you see the full screen preview of this. This image somehow comes on the left hand side and on the center of the page. There is white space above and white space below. Spacing with regards to LaTeX is automatic. LaTeX automatically adjusts the space as per its own algorithm. So that the document looks beautiful. Okay. So now let us tweak a little bit and remember one thing you have to use the package graphics. Let me zoom it out. Remember that for inserting image, just a second. I'm sorry. For inserting image, you have to use the package graphics. And remember the spelling is X in the end and not S. So graphics. Is the package without this package you cannot insert images in latex okay so now if you can just observe this output this image is left aligned okay so usually we keep images at the center to do that now let us do one thing in begin figure environment I type the command centering C E N T E R I N G I just double click this and now let me recompile this using this green button so you see the image is now centered. You got the idea? The image is now centered. So let us copy this block. I have another image. Okay, I have another image with the name yellow.png in the same folder. Yellow image. Okay, I just copied this block, pasted this, and I just changed the file name. So let me compile it. So now you can see you have two images one below the other. The good thing about LaTeX is it automatically takes this figure one, figure two. You need not specify the number. It automatically takes okay this was the second figure, this was the first figure. Okay. Now just another thing to the video. If you want this image to be in small size. Okay, you may have want to increase the scale, you may have to decrease the scale. That also can be done very easily in LaTeX. So, just before the include graphics, just after the include graphics and before the file name, 
have an empty parenthesis empty square parenthesis okay so let me scale the image so scale can be anything between 0 0.00 to 1 okay so 0 to 1 is the value 1 means 100 percent okay so if i have scale 1 i guess this will be as it is so you can see there is no change but now let me scale it to 0.5 so this image will reduce to 50 percent of the size okay now you see both these images are of same size same dimensions length and width but since this is scale 0 0.5 this image is now reduced by 50% dimensions and this image is intact because it has no scale functionality. Now let us say if I do a scale of 2, it will double the size. Just compile it. See it even extends the page border because it is 200% now. And the next yellow image comes on automatically on the next page. Okay, so scale can be used to adjust the size of the image. Let us make it again 0 0.5 and there is another way of adjusting the image size that is with width command. So I use width is equal to 1 slash text width. Let me compile and explain you what I have done. So now you see this image has increased in size. What this command tells you width. So basically, I am using an article class. By default, the LaTeX assumes a page size of A4. It has a sufficient margin on the left and the right hand side. So it assumes that this is width is basically 100% of the text width. Now let me have some text here. Probably I would be able to explain it better. Let me make the width 0.6. Okay. Let me remove the black image. Okay, completely. So now if you see, width is 1 by text width. So this one you assume it to be 100%. And what is the text width? See, when I am writing some random text here, so it automatically gets separated on these parts. So this is basically the text width. That is the width in which the text is allowed to spread. So the yellow highlighted line basically is the length of the text which is allowed to be in the document. After this, LaTeX will automatically separate it into a new line. Now just match the border of this and the yellow line. You will see they coincide. Because this was width of 100% of the text width. So as far as the text goes, make the image that far. Now let me reduce this by 0.5. So since the width is this much, 50% of the width. Just let us compile. Now you see. So equally from the left hand side and the right hand side it has shrinked the image. Okay. So basically in this video you have learned how to insert images into LaTeX. And how can we reduce their and increase their size and shape. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.